Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review, and this time around for the 18 ounce birthday cake candle from Homeworks by Harry Slacken. I did purchase this uh, through QVC, and the notes on this read vanilla cake, whipped cream, caramelized sugars, and happy wishes. So this fragrance, I believe, originally came out all the way back in fall size summer of 2018, and it does sort of come in and out of stock uh, throughout the years, and I believe it might have been even available as, uh, like, recent as spring of 2021 and the version that I have has a pour date of 2020 so that is the version that I am reviewing right now so yes uh this one obviously has been out for a little bit but I'm just getting around to burning it and reviewing it right now so yeah oh my gosh this is excellent this smells great I really enjoy the fragrance um on cold I do have to say I was a little underwhelmed and I was like uh kind of just smells basic but I have to say you really have to light this one up to get the full effect on it because it really does liven up and smells absolutely scrumptious when you are burning it. I just can't get enough of it. I don't want to blow it out. It's just one of those beautiful like sort of background just you keep wanting to burn it more and more type of fragrance um, and I'm really enjoying like every moment of it. So yeah, what does this smell like? Well, it really does smell just like a birthday cake. Uh, it's kind of like a white cake or a yellow cake is what I get from it with heaps of a icing or frosting on it. Um, and then quite a bit of a like caramelized sugar component is definitely in there. There's definitely a caramelization or even a caramel fragrance to it. It's absolutely decadent and delicious. It's very reminiscent of the original Slack & Co slash Bath & Body Works frosted cupcake candle. But that one would often smell kind of burnt and plasticky and kind of go bad. Uh, whereas this is like the best, most richest, and most decadent variation or version of that uh, Frosted Cupcake fragrance from Slack and Co. And I'm really enjoying it. So you do get like a warm, juicy, uh, vanilla type of cake in there. Once again, kind of like a white cake or a yellow cake. You get the cake batter experience in there as well. It does smell like a bowl of juicy vanilla cake batter. Um, you do get a frosting or icing know in there it's very like sugary and sweet a little bit of like a whipped cream creaminess in there and then you do get a like caramel fragrance in there as well it's kind of similar to the caramel fragrance that I get from spun vanilla sugar is very similar to this uh, it kind of gives it like just that sort of uh, I don't know caramel caramelized feel to it uh, and I definitely do get the caramel in there so it just makes it even more ooey gooey sweet and decadent and delicious um, and that's pretty much what you get from this uh, there's definitely like a vanilla bean, almost like a marshmallowy type of fragrance to it as well. And it really does just smell like the best version of like a frosted cupcake or a birthday cake with complete with the frosting and the icing, the cake batter, everything is just totally in this fragrance. Uh, it's warm, it's delicious, and you just want a bite of it and you just don't want to blow it out. This is like the like, you know, cake lover's dream candle or even like a vanilla bakery lover's dream candle. It's really great. If you enjoy like vanilla bean or vanilla bean marshmallow from Bath & Body Works, I think you'll really enjoy this one. This one's a little bit more birthday cake than just a plain marshmallow fragrance, but still very, very, very similar fragrance family. If you like buttercream frosting or buttercream icing or buttercream type of fragrances, I think you'll enjoy this one as well. Uh, obviously, I said a frosted cupcake as well. Uh, the spun vanilla sugar from Homeworks is similar, a little less baked. Uh, and that one's a little bit more heavy on a caramel in my opinion, but still nonetheless very similar fragrances. Uh, there was the Toasted Vanilla Cupcake. I think that one's a little bit more different. It's not as vanilla, uh, like buttercream frosting, ooey gooey as this is. That one's a little bit more warmer, a little bit more toasted, a little bit more baked. Um, and it has more of like a, almost like a maple walnut, uh, almost like a hard salty caramel, salted caramel, slightly caramel popcorn type of fragrance, whereas this one's a little bit more of that ooey gooey cake batter fragrance, but still similar fragrances. They're all in a very similar fragrance family. So if you enjoy any of those, I would definitely check this one out. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what this smells like. And let me go into the performance. I believe this is either a fourth or a fifth burn. I do have to say the fragrance on the very first burn of this one was kind of strange. It gave me a very burnt fragrance to it. It really smelled like something was on fire, uh, very roasty and burnt. Um, it was kind of off-putting. Uh, it was great for like the first two hours of that first burn, but once I was approaching the third uh, hour of the very first burn, uh, there was very much a distinct burnt smell to it that was uh, quite off-putting. Uh, and I think that might have something to do with the wicks, if the wicks are too long or if they have 
have like really big mushroom tops on them maybe, uh, then maybe they gi give or emit a like smoky burnt on fire fragrance and it really smelled like I had burnt birthday cakes or like if you just blew out the candles on the birthday cake and you get that burnt smell or like there was just marshmallows that were roasting or on fire. It had a very like off-putting burnt fragrance to it, but it only happened on the first burn and I suspect that happened was because I don't trim my candles on the first burn just because you don't know how they're going to perform and I don't trim them until the second burn. Um, and so I think maybe the wicks were a little too long. Um, and so for some reason, just maybe the wicks, the way it interacts with the wax and the fragrance oil gives off a very burnt fragrance. Uh, so that was my theory at least. So that's why on every other burn, I have actually trimmed them quite generously or much smaller than I normally would just because I was trying to put it to test of whether or not the longer wicks would give off a more burnt fragrance. And that kind of seemed to be the case. So every time I've trimmed it, uh, very short, uh, on every other burn, it hasn't given off a burnt fragrance. Uh, so that was good. You can still smell a slight burnt fragrance when you hover directly over the flames in the wax pool. There is a burnt fragrance that's still somewhat present, uh, but it doesn't travel like it did on that very first burn. So I think if you just keep the wicks uh, trimmed quite short on this one, it'll do fine. You can see the flames are still massive and high even after trimming them. This is about a two and a half to three hour burn and you can see they're still very high and vicious. Uh, it gets very hot, so please be careful with these candles and make sure you trim the wicks on them because otherwise it can become quite dangerous and quite hot. So definitely just kind of blow it out after the three to three and a half hour mark and make sure you're always trimming on this. As for the throw, I would say very medium. Um, I could definitely smell it uh, and I like it. It's kind of like a sort of background fragrance, but it almost kind of has like a slightly realistic quality to the fact that it's not so in your face artificial. Bam. Uh, I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit stronger just because I do enjoy the fragrance so much, but because it is uh, a little bit lighter than I prefer. It's one of those where I just have it keep burning just so I can enjoy the fragrance more and I kind of don't want to blow it out because I just want to keep smelling it. But I would say just like, literally just like at a five is what I would put it at. Uh, maybe in a large open concept area, maybe like a four and a half to a five. Um, and then maybe even up to a six in a smaller bedroom. Definitely can smell it better in a smaller bedroom. So even maybe a little bit higher than a medium in the six range. Uh, but you can still smell it. Um, it's not unsatisfactory by any means. Once again, I would wish it was a little bit stronger, uh, but I can still smell it and it's totally adequate. And I just really enjoy the fragrance and I kind of don't want to blow it out. It does pick up a little bit more uh, by like the two hour mark when it has a full wax pool it does get a little bit stronger so uh just keep that in mind so it's pretty much the performance on this candle Overall, despite that very first burn smelling rather burnt and on fire, um, it has been fine ever since that. Uh, it's pulling out fine. It's not dudding out. It has, you know, wicked flames on it. Uh, I can smell it good enough. Uh, the fragrance is delicious and amazing. Once again, it's like the best representation of like a frosted cupcake or a birthday cake fragrance, and I really enjoy it. it just I just want more of it, and it just smells great. I'm just definitely going to enjoy the two that I have from the set of two uh, set. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I'm really liking this one. Let me know your comments down below if you tried this one and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.